What's up YouTube? So today I'm going to show you how to get a uh, cute FTP Pro to work, uh, where to download it, how to get it to work, and uh, you can use it to customize your iPod even more. Now I'm going to show you step by step how to do this and it's pretty simple. First of all, uh, you can use cute FTP with any iPod version, uh, anything from 1.1.1 to 1.1.4 as long as it is jailbroken. So you need a jailbroken iPod Touch anywhere on any of the firmwares. And uh, I'm going to show you how to do it using version 1.1.4, but it's the same way uh, for all firmwares. So what you're going to do is you're going to open up Installer. And then you're going to need to have a few things installed beforehand. You're going to need to have these things installed. Community Sources, BSD Subsystem, and Installer, obviously. So when you have Community Sources and BSD Subsystem installed, then uh, you're going to move on to the next step. So go down to install. Scroll down to system. And scroll down to open SSH. It's called open SSH. And you're going to use it, then install this. And you're going to use this to uh, access Qt FTP. So let it install. Just hit OK. Alright, now you're going to need to install one more application. So, go up to All Packages and scroll down to a package called Services. What this is, this is an application that allows you to do toggle uh, SSH on and off. Because if you have SSH on all the time, it uses your iPod's battery a lot faster. So, right here. Services. And install that. And when you're done, just exit out. All right, then slide to unlock. And if you open services, you can see that it says SSH is on. And just exit out of there. And now you're going to need to go to your computer. Now, this is a website where you're going to download Qt FTP Pro. Now, what I'll give you the link to where this is. And this works for Windows and Mac. So what you're going to do is, when it says select version, if you have a Windows, then select the Windows version. If you have a Mac, select the Mac version. Then just enter e your email address. I'm just going to enter one that's not mine, so don't bother sending me an email here, because it's not my email address. And then hit submit. and then it should redirect you to the download if it doesn't then click where it says to click alright and now let me try and zoom in on this where it says download now click that Oops. and then just click save file and it's an 8.4 megabyte file and I'm gonna let this download it's gonna take a minute so I'll come back when it's done after it's done downloading then you're going to need to double click the file to install it. As you see, I already installed it right here. It's really easy. It'll take you through all the steps to install it. And then you should have this icon called Qt FTP 8 Professional. Now, uh, with this application, it comes with, I think, a, th a free 30-day trial. So if you like it, then you should definitely buy it. It's definitely worth it. Uh, I really like it. I use it a lot. So what you're going to do now is double click to open the application. Now you might have a few things pop up, but since I've bought it, I don't have anything pop up. So that's a perk of buying it. You don't have annoying pop ups. All right. So what you're gonna do now is you're gonna go to the top. Here, let me move this. The top left of uh, the application. Click File, then click New, then click SFTP. Let me zoom in on this. All right, then for label, just call it anything you want. I'm going to name mine iPod Touch. And then host address. What that is, is that's your iPod's IP address. Now to find that, go into settings. Your iPod Touch has to have Wi-Fi capability uh, to be able to SSH and do it and use Qt FTP. So if it doesn't, then I'm sorry, but you can't use this. But if it does, then go to Wi-Fi. 
and whatever Wi-Fi you're connected to, click the little blue arrow next to it to find your IP address. And then it says at the top where your IP address is. So whatever it says for IP address, type that in for host address. So let me do that real quick. All right, and then username. That is root, R-O-O-T, root. And then password. That's Alpine, A-L-P-I-N-E, Alpine, A-L-P-I-N-E. All right, now what you're gonna do is make sure that your iPod Touch does not go to sleep. It has to be connected to Wi-Fi for all this. So go into settings, go to general, and make sure auto lock is set to never. If it isn't set to never, then set it to never. All right, now you can just set it to the side and click connect. Now this is gonna take probably a minute to load. Now just let it uh, do what it's gonna do. It looks like it doesn't do anything, but just give it a few minutes because it's trying to connect to the iPod. So I'll come back when it's done. Now here's what happens. Here's what happens often when you first try to connect your iPod to QFTP Pro. You're gonna get this error. It can say, mine says error zero. Yeah, it might be a different error, but if you get some sort of error when trying to log in, then here's what you're gonna do. Open up services. And what you're going to do is just for a minute, toggle SSH on and off. Just give it a minute. Just keep toggling. Just do it like a few times. And then when you're done, restart your iPod Touch. And I'm sorry if you can hear my dogs because they won't shut up and I don't know what they're barking at. But then turn your, then turn your iPod back on and I'll let that load What it turns on. Uh, you can exit out of this error. Alright, what you're going to do now, even if your iPod isn't turned back on yet, go back up to top left, go to File, New, and SFTP. You're going to do this one more time. So, when your iPod is back on, make sure it's connected to Wi-Fi again, and set it back down. And for the label, I'm just going to label this iPod Touch 2. And then host address, same, uh, same IP address as it was the last time for your iPod. Double check it if you don't know what it is. Username root R O O T Password Alpine A L P I N E and let's hope this works this time. Click connect again. Alright, now you're gonna get this warning, the host identification has changed, so that's good. Click yes and then click yes again. Alright, now we're in. So let me zoom in a little bit. Depending on what firmware you're in, you're gonna see one or two folders here. Uh, if you're on 1.1.3 or 1.1.4, you're probably going to see just a folder called library. But if you're in 1.1.1 or 1.1.2, you're probably going to see one called library and media, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, now you have access to your iPod's uh, root system, and you can uh, do lots of stuff in there. You can customize it even more. If you uh, don't even know what to do um, when you have SSH access, then uh, there's lots of things you can do, like... Uh, you can change around like p like uh, icons for your no, excuse me. You can change around icons for your applications. You can customize it even more by adding custom sliders and all kinds of cool stuff. And you can put different skins on Safari and fun stuff like that. So uh, there you go. That's how you can access uh, your iPod Touch with Qt FTP Pro. It's pretty simple, as you saw. Uh, if you get any problems, just make sure. Your iPod is connected to Wi-Fi. First of all, make sure that your iPod is not asleep while you're trying to connect. Make sure that uh, make sure that SSH is on. And uh, also make sure if your computer uses Wi-Fi as well as your iPod Touch, uh, I found this to be a problem. Make sure your computer is on the same Wi-Fi as your iPod Touch, because if they're not on the same Wi-Fi, they can't connect. So make sure your computer is on the same internet as your iPod Touch, otherwise it will not work. So hopefully that should answer all your questions about Qt FTP Pro. And like I said, I'll have the link of where to download it in the description of this video over that way. And yeah, that's it for now.